Olympus, the highest mountain of Greece. Its peaks are perpetually crowned by a white veil, carved in the divine isolation of the landscape. Rooted in a difficult to access canyon, the old monastery was built by Saint Dionysius in 1542. The visitors nowadays will meet the new monastery where only monks live in an altitude lower than the initial building. In a region called Scalas Metochi near Litochoro, at the foot of Olympus Mountain. On April the 16th of 1943, on Friday, a day before the celebration of Lazarus Day, the Germans bombarded Litochoro and the Saints Metochi. The monk Dionysius, a young man witness of the cruel facts, unravels his memories. At dawn, we could see the monastery. On the right, there are some machine guns for protection. I can see the monastery, more than six centuries old. On the way back, we can hear the first blowing up. In the afternoon, we return to the camp. Dear sir, you will be surprised when you receive this letter written by me. I was 21 years old, a soldier in the unit which had encamped in the region of Litochoron in April of 1943. A lawyer from Hamburg, admirer of Greece, sent me some colored photos from the monastery he had photographed. I don't have to tell you how much grief the destruction of this beautiful monument causes me. I send you four enlarged photos which I took then. One can see how the monastery used to look like. Maybe they will be useful during the restoration of the monastery. It is a two-story building situated where the abbot's quarters used to be before it was bombarded by the German troops. In the basement, precious relics are exhibited, most of which come from the old monastery. The rest of the day, each monk has a particular work to do, which is called ministration, which changes every year in September the 1st, with the beginning of the ecclesiastic year. In the modern carpenter's workshop, they hew down a handmade well-traveling boat with their plane tools to fish in the blue waters of the Thermaic Gulf. Frugal and self-sufficient, they make sure by the scarce means to cater for the everyday needs of the fraternity and the monastery. The holy monastery of Saint Dionysius of Olympus is the home where the monks experienced the orthodox monastic tradition as they inherited it from Saint Dionysius. Here life never stops. It is incessantly continued throughout the year, and you think that the divine is in a constant conversation with the natural world. The old monastery has been lying there for 500 years in River Enipeus's Canyon. hurt, but always proud, made by wood and stone, a unique monument which rooted here once like a tree roots, a tree that no mortal man has the right to cut. <laughs> 